Yo guys, what is good? It's your boy Jamong here, back again with another video. And today, we're gonna be going over another pair of shoes that I just copped that I've been wanting for a really, really long time. So before I get to opening up this box, I've mentioned in my older videos that I really wanted this sneaker. I've actually said that this sneaker is probably one of the best sneakers of 2023. Now in the beginning of this year, they did do a huge launch with a lot of different colorways. Honestly, I didn't go for any of them just because I felt like all the colors were very neutral. There just wasn't a ton of character to any of the sneakers. But still, I've wanted this sneaker for a long time. And I know that Nike has been coming out with a lot of different colorways. And I've just been waiting for the right one. Finally, Nike has dropped this colorway, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, they haven't released this colorway in the US, but they have done so in, I think it's China or Hong Kong. So yes, this pair of shoes is from StockX and it is from their Hong Kong plant. So I'm gonna just get to opening up this box. So let's go. I'm really excited. Now, part of me was kind of concerned when I saw that these were coming from Hong Kong, but I do trust StockX in the end of the day. I, I know that if sneakers are going to go through them, they're going to make sure that it's authenticated, even though there has been some conspiracies of fakes, but still, I feel like with this sneaker, there really can't be a lot of fakes because it's not so popular and it's not a very sought after sneaker. All right, we got the box open. Oh man, I'm so excited. I've wanted this sneaker for a while. Yeah, let's just open up the box. In three, two, one. Ooh, something fell out. I guess it was my packing slip. And we're gonna unwrap it in three, two, one. Woo! Okay, let's go. Very interesting, very, very interesting. Oh. -ho. What? What? Here we have it. The Nike Vomero 5 in the Have a Nike Day colorway. So yeah, before I get into the shoe, this is just a regular red Nike box. This is pretty standard when it comes to regular Nike sneakers that don't really have a collab. So I wouldn't expect anything more, but this is just a standard red Nike box. All right, so basically, yes, I have been wanting this shoe for a long time. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this about like five times so far in the video. But when they first released a whole bunch of colorways in the beginning of the year, they were all like gray and tan and black. And all these shoes were just, yeah, they were very neutral and they were very wearable. But I already have so many neutral colored pairs in my collection that I just want a little more pop of color to the Nike Vomero. Now I have heard that the Nike Vomero is very comfortable. So I'm pretty excited to be busting these out in the summer. And I feel like especially for this colorway, you know, when I first saw pictures of these get released to the public, I knew I had to get these just because this is such a unique colorway and there's so much colors going on, but they go with each other. At least in my opinion, they do. I feel like this is a very complimentary sneaker. Now I was about to get the oatmeal colorway, but I already have so many different pairs of cream and tan sneakers. And that pair is going for like $230, $250. On StockX, I actually found these. These are, I pretty much got them for retail price. And I guess they're pretty widely stocked in China. So I was able to get these for pretty much with retail, obviously with fees and everything, but still an affordable price. I'm telling you, I have been waiting for the perfect colorway to drop when it comes to the Nike Romero 5s. And I'm so glad that this one did. When I saw this one, I knew that this one was the shoe for me. I don't really know why they have a Nike Day colorway hasn't dropped in America yet, but I was able to get my hands on a pair. If you guys do want a pair for yourself on StockX, they're pretty much going for retail or under retail. So pretty affordable. I would definitely recommend copping from there. So let's talk about the shoe itself. So first, on the upper, you have a primarily mesh upper. Now this is supposed to be very soft and breathable, especially for the summertime. And then moving over to the toe area, you do have a black mudguard following along with a reddish tannish 
toe box that's covered in suede. Now the suede isn't the best quality, but this is a standard Nike sneaker. So, I mean, it's not a collab, right? So I, I don't expect the suede to be super buttery. And then moving over to the upper, you do have a panel on top of the mesh, which appears to be leather. Now this is also a reddish and tannish colored along the toe area. Now moving over to the swoosh, we have a very muted colored swoosh. Now I think that is pretty complimentary to the overall sneaker. Now under that we have another rubber panel on top of the mesh that is again in that reddish brownish colorway. I just love this color so much. I can't really describe it. Obviously, according to the name of the shoe, it's a have a Nike day colorway. So we really don't know what the actual colors are. Actually, let me see for the box. Okay, so the color on this shoe is actually pale ivory and citron tint, which makes sense. I, I don't know any of those colors. Those are not normal colors. <laughs> And then moving over next to the rubber panel, we have that leather panel again that we saw on the toe. On top of that, we have this orange Nike tag, which has this really funky font. I think that's pretty cool. Moving over to the heel area, we have this plastic panel that features a lot of different triangles. I feel like this is supposed to provide structure for the foot, especially when you're walking. So you don't want the entire shoe to be very soft and flimsy. Going over to the midsole, you do have that cushioning. It kind of looks like teeth and is very similar to the New Balance 2002 R's. Like I said in my previous videos, I feel like the Nike Vomero is a great alternative to the 2002 R's just because they're probably just as comfortable and they're not as chunky like the New Balances are. On top of this plastic cage, we do have once again our Nike swoosh that is in this very dried suede. And then below that, again, we have that dried out suede that's in that reddish tannish colorway or ivory and then moving over to the laces we have them in this mint blue colorway now i think this is really nice for the shoe again it sort of doesn't make sense but when you put the shoe together in all the different colorways it honestly does look very nice moving over to the tongue area we do have this nike tab once again that's in this very funky font and then on the insoles we see it again and this also says have a Nike day. And finally on the outsole, we do have a combination of this ivory colored and black traction pattern, as well as this very, uh, you guys can see it right here. It's not rubber, but I feel like this is sort of plasticky. I don't even know what to call it, but I think it's nice in contrast to the rubber part. Yeah, I don't know what this part is called. So I pretty much said it over and over again, but when it comes to this shoe, there's just so much about it that just doesn't make sense. But once you take a look at it, this is a really, really clean colorway. And it's nothing like I've ever owned in my collection. So I'm glad that I finally have more character in my sneakers. This definitely has a lot of character with a lot of color as well. And I will be wearing these a whole bunch. I also forgot to add that right above the midsole, there is that mint blue colorway once again that just runs throughout before you actually hit the upper. That is a very nice compliment. Now I am excited to be owning this because I just love comfortable sneakers. Even though I own a lot of Jordans, in the end of the day, it really matters on comfort. I love to just walk around in my shoes and be comfortable, not feel pain. And that's exactly what these shoes are all about. This is probably the most comfortable sneaker of 2023. Now, I do think that not a lot of people know about the Vomeros yet, but I feel like everyone should own a pair because they are so clean. Everyone should definitely take a break from their Nike Dunks, especially the Panda Dunks, and just hop on the Vomero wave because this is here to stay. So yup, this pretty much wraps up my review of the Nike Vomero 5s. I think it's really good quality. I think it's gonna be a breathable sneaker and I can't wait to try them on after this video. I will show you guys how they look on foot, so stick around for that. So here we have it, the Nike Vomero 5 in the Have a Nike Day colorway. Now I would like to hear from you guys. What do you think of the Have a Nike Day colorway? Do you guys think that this is super clean 
or do you think that the colorways are trash? I do want to hear from you guys because I know everyone has their own opinions when it comes to shoes. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And guys, if you want to hear more, smash the subscribe button. And yeah, we can keep growing this channel so I can keep copping sneakers and sharing them with you. With all that being said, these are the Nike Vomero 5s. I'm so happy to finally own my pair. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Alright, so the AC is actually on, so I hope you guys are able to hear. But just to bear with me for one sec, I've actually just tried the Vomero's on. And they are super comfortable. I would say they do fit true to size. So, yeah, I don't think you have to worry about going a half size up or half size down. I'm in love with these. I will show you guys a whole on foot later, but for now, I feel like I'm definitely gonna wear these out. I gotta go out to class in a bit, but yeah, this is a great shoe for the day. Why not?